Hey everyone, welcome to Princess of Gay. I'm your host, Connie, and welcome to our first episode reaction for Senki Zesho Symphogear, uh, which I will probably just refer to as Symphogear from here on out, just for sake of ease. And that's probably what it is in the title of the video as well. Uh, so this is a donation reward that will be replacing Amphibia from here on out since we are done with Amphibia. And it is the first donation reward for Calypso. Uh, thank you, Calypso, for donating. I really appreciate it. Um, so what do I know about Symphogear? Symphogear, from what I know, is about music. And that's only because Calypso mentioned that in the uh, Discord, I believe. Um, and I don't know in what way. Because I've seen many different shows that incorporate music into the plots and everything in different ways. There's k in which, you know, the group the core cast are in a uh, music club. Um, but then you also have something like, um, oh, what is it called? I can't think of the, the, the full name of it. Um, I, I can look, I, I could probably find it really easily just by typing in like the kind of like subtitle. Because for some reason I can remember that, but not the actual, uh, the actual name of the anime. Um, Kacho Oji, uh, The Legend of Black Heaven. Um, it, it's called both, basically. Um, but that series, um, I remembered like the subtitle, which is Hard Rock Save the Space. Basically, it's about a hard rock heavy metal band who has to save the world from aliens. Um, after being like, you know, split up for years i think even decades the main character is like married and has a kid now and everything but they have to get like get back together to save the world from aliens using their music and it's like it is the it is wild one of the wildest plots in anime for me of anime that i actually like i should say <laughs> um not including etchy of course because etchy plots just get crazy um but yeah it's it's wild of an idea. Um, so I don't know how music is incorporated into this series, if it's like going to be just like a music anime or if it's more. I assume it's more though, because I have seen one of the character designs. I used it for the channel banner. Um, and it looks like a battle suit. It looks like some kind of battle suit, some kind of like, uh, um, not really a space suit, but something similar also <laughs> i don't uh, this is a common thing with a lot of anime like do they not understand how fabric works because it's like it would not be so perfectly accentuating the titties like that it just that's not how anything works um but either way it's like I, I assume it's probably more akin to Kacho Oji, The Legend of Black Heaven, uh, comparatively. Um, in which case, it could be pretty good. It could be pretty good. But I'll really have no idea until I check it out, will I? I've also been told to watch the opening and ending at least once for this series but that they're not in the first episode, which a lot of anime do. There are a lot of anime where the first episode won't have an opening or even sometimes an ending uh, because they want to use as much time as they can to set up the story so that so the second episode will start to bring that in. It, it depends on the series, but there's a lot of anime where the first episode will give a little more time to the actual content of the episode rather than having that opening and ending. Which, it's like, okay, like a minute and a half for the opening, maybe two minutes for the ending. It's, excuse me, it's really not that much extra time, but still, I guess every minute counts, you know? So yeah, I don't know what to expect going into this. I don't know whether or not I'm going to like it. It's kind of up in the air. We'll see, and hopefully... uh we end up enjoying it. It's 13 episodes per season, so it's not, like, too difficult to get through. It's not, like, a 26-episode season or anything. 
Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully I like it enough. Hopefully um, it, it, it's something I want to continue and everything. We'll just have to, we'll just have to see. There, there's no other way to put it. Um, but I am interested to get to it nonetheless. Uh, so that being said, uh, thank you once again, uh, for donating for this Calypso. Um, and for now, we're just going to get right into it. So when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and it fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode. So, that being said, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you at the reaction. And we are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. I had to take a minute there after the after the reaction to just let myself try to calm down a little bit <laughs> like even now even having taken a, a minute or two there my heart is still beating really hard like i am even though like it kind of went into it kind of slowed down a little bit there um in the second half i guess you could say uh <sighs> I just <laughs> I was not prepared for this. I didn't know what to expect from this series. Like like I like I had said I didn't know really anything about the plot. All I knew was that music was important to it. Um and and I knew what one of the characters looked like. <laughs> But at the same time, I'm just, I, 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 I'm sorry, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of speechless. It very much, it, it very much reminds me of when I reacted to Show by Rock and how just absolutely thrown off I was by that. Um, again, react, did the first impressions reaction to that, but... If there was, like, like I was kind of, like, even guessing there might be more to this than, like, just, you know, light music club kind of shit. I even said in the pre-thoughts, it's like, oh, could this be more like K-Own with the music, or is it going to be more like Kacho Ochi? But I didn't actually expect it to be more intense than Kacho Ochi in that regard. Like, yeah, it, it's music fighting aliens. Okay, we got that. It's like Kacha Oji in that regard, just obviously more poppy music than heavy metal. Um, but then you have just an absolute metric fuck ton of people violently, horrifically murdered in this episode. And it's like, I was so not prepared for that. It caught me so off guard. Like, <laughs> and then this main girl I, I, can't, I looked up her name I can't remember it right now I, I, it's like how the fuck did she survive that the thing shot right into her chest at that speed with that much force it's like the 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 you like ever you, you ever watch something or, or I guess even play a game I, uh, or whatnot or or whatever where something is just so viscerally like animated and whatnot to where it actually kind of causes you to jump and kind of freaks you the hell out like it, it's it's so it has so much impact to it 
it, it's not just like a shocking moment. It's like a shocking fucking moment. Like everything else, like already before that, like all these people dying very violently and horrifically. And there's just, that was already a lot. But when that hit her, just again, the impact of it, it's like, oh my God. And then we're not, we're not even given any explanation. We're not told anything. It's just like, oh, here, have this moment at the beginning. This girl is visiting the grave of this other girl, uh, presumably a friend, okay? Flashback two years. The, the two girls are friends, one of the girls going to a concert. All fucking hell breaks loose. And yet she somehow survived. How did she survive? And wait, then how is she dead? It, it, it's, uh, uh, it said it was back to present day. They were talking on the phone. She knew she was alive. Is it not actually the present day that we saw at the beginning? Is that like the future? Is she still going to die? Is she going to fake her death? What is going to happen? And it seems to take place kind of like in a semi-futuristic kind of world. It's not like very modern day. Um, because it, there's very clearly technology that is not modern. Even like when this came out in 2012, it's like... You couldn't even expect this to be, like, in 2022. This has to take place... Uh, I would say at absolute bare minimum, 2030. But it's like... It, it just throws us in! We're not given any explanation! What are these aliens? What, what the fuck is happening? Why are people just dying en masse so freaking horrifyingly? Like, what the fuck? Like, I've seen a lot of anime uh, where people have died. I, I... And a lot of those deaths have been really sad or really emotional and sometimes even very horrific. I mean, I, I've talked about it plenty of times on this channel, but Blood Sea, probably the most uncomfortable an anime has ever made me. And this wasn't really uncomfortable. I, I, it was just so shocking and sudden that I didn't have a chance to really process it. At least with Blood Sea, when that ending stuff came about with like the bunnies and the chimera and whatnot, at least I was more prepared for that kind of tone at this point. This is the very first episode, and it's like, I'm not prepared at all. It just throws me into this shit. I'm, I'm not okay. And one of the girls of this, like, idol, idol duo, like, sacrifices her life, use some kind of forbidden song, and sacrifices her life. And, and just turns into dust, basically. And then now this other girl that, that she saved is now able to change as well. Like, was the thing that hit her, like, piece of the, the one girl's armor or something? Because that's the only thing that could make sense as to why she's suddenly able to transform. Unless just anyone has this potential. Does everyone just have some kind of magical girl spark in their body? Or what the fuck? And it looks so fucking painful, too. It's like the first transformations, the magical girl transformations we saw during the concert attack were, like, magical girl transformations. But then it's like you go to the end here, and you go to this, this girl, and it's like, oh my god. It's like, you have the, like, shit coming out of her, like, fully fucking coolie. And then it's like, and it looks so fucking painful. Like, oh my god. Like, oh, like, I'm, I'm on, I am uncomfortable. Oh my God. What the fuck are you having me react to, Calypso?
I'm not okay. <laughs> oh, I, I can barely talk about this. I can barely talk about this. I, I hope I'm getting some semblance of thoughts clear here. I am a mess right now. It's, it, it's just so sudden. When the explosion happened, it scared the shit out of me. I was not expecting it. Like, all those people just... Like, they weren't even killed by the aliens. They were killed by that explosion. It just... Everything exploded. And just a shit ton of people there. Just... Oh, my God. Oh. <sighs> Like, I don't even, I don't even know what I think of this. I don't even know what I think of this. I'm sorry. I, it's like, I, I'm, I'm not saying I dislike it. I'm not saying I like it. I fucking don't know. I, 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 I'm just, it's not even I'm conflicted. I'm not even like unsure, like, oh, I need to see more episodes to determine that. I, I'm just, I was so fucking caught off guard. That I genuinely cannot even form my thoughts properly right now. To even know what I thought of it. I mean, I, I'll, I'll continue to watch more for now, for, uh, for sure. If for no other reason than just to find out what the fuck is happening. But it's like... Jesus, fuck. I'm sorry, I need to, I, 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 I need to move on to something else. I need to record something else or watch something else or something. I, I, I can't, I, 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 I have no, I don't know what to say. Congratulations, Calypso. You have broken me. You have officially broken me. I'm Connie. I'm signing off. See y'all next time.